Today I'm going to show you how to create your own beautiful work of art using simple materials available at your home. This fantastic home decor is pretty easy to make and fairly inexpensive. We need empty glass bottles, hemp twine, glue, tape, scissors, spray paint and some flowers. I'll show you three different methods of creating some wonderful home decor out of bottles to brighten up any room. So let's begin! For this project we need clean glass bottles. So I peeled up all the labels. To take off difficult labels I used hot water and metal scrubber. The first method is wrapping bottles with twine. The very first thing to do is to spray paint the bottles. I made two white and two black bottles. Now I'm just going to spread a thin layer of glue in a small section, probably around 2 cm. We just want to work in small sections at a time, so it doesn't dry too fast. Be careful with the glue, you don't want to put too much of it, because you'll make a real mess. I'll start rubbing around, making sure I don't leave any space. Take your time at the very beginning, because you want it to look very nice. You just want to make sure that it lines up well. Once you're done wrapping, you need to cut it on the same side where the beginning is, and then make sure the end of the twine is secured. I made a braid out of the twine and glued it to the neck of the last black bottle. Now it's time to create the letters. I'm going to make white letters using some pearls, buttons, yarn and handmade flour. I also use a white glue and a hot glue. So I started making the letter H with white yarn. I stuck it to the bottle with white glue because it allows me to adjust the yarn very easily and make a perfect letter. Then to make the letter O I use this white flour that I made myself. It is actually very easy and fun to make. I used a strip of fabric 3 cm wide and around 40 cm long. Then I folded the fabric in half and glued it with a hot glue. I cut the loops about halfway along. I made a circle from a thin cardboard and glued the fabric around it, creating a flower. At the end, I added yellow button to make the flower look more realistic. For the letter M, I used these pearls from an old necklace and carefully glued them. Finally, for the letter E, I used white buttons. The buttons were actually color buttons, but I painted them white. Also, I glued small flower to the neck of the first white bottle to make it more pretty. These are my favorite bottles, I really like them. The second method is creating patterns with tape and self-adhesive paper. First, I spray painted the beer bottles with black and gold spray paint. To take it to the next level, I used self-adhesive paper and tape and started making patterns. I've cut stripes, different sizes of circles and triangles and stuck them to the bottles, creating stripes, dots and the sunburst. Use your imagination to create whatever patterns you want. Make sure your tape and paper are not too sticky, otherwise the paint will come out when you peel them up. After that, I spray painted the bottles with different colors to create contrast with the patterns. Finally, I removed the tape and the paper of the bottles carefully. Now I've got a beautiful piece of art. The third method is decorating bottles with white glue and hot glue. Just to warn you, it takes a lot of skill to work with a glue gun, but it's worth the try. On the first bottle I'm going to make an abstract pattern, like abstract rectangles. You can make whatever you want, there are no rules, but I think the abstract ones are the easiest. This is another one that I also did with hot glue, making some kind of vertical curved lines. For the third one, I used white glue to create dotted designs that pop out from the bottle. I really enjoyed doing this. I let them dry for about 30 minutes before spray painting. For the bottles covered with hot glue, I used white spray paint and for the one covered with white glue, I used gold one. 
The final step is to take the glue off of the bottles. It came off very easy. I decided to leave the other white bottle as it is because I kinda liked its design. This is the final result. So at the end I added these beautiful flowers to give them more special touch. Now you can see all of my creations. It took me a whole day to finish all the bottles, but the end result is amazing. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this beautiful DIY. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.